you meet Angela Baird? That's absolute nonsense. You can't just knock on people's door and expect them to dump a, a, a lifetime of religious beliefs and moral convictions based on your ridiculous assertions via a poorly prepared spiel like yours. That tea's special, you know. It helps you pour your heart out. Did you have any fears for your husband, Angela? Lipstick too much. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Have you been smoking? Years later, he discovered that his wife and children had changed and his town had changed and the whole world had changed too. Eden, I took that story to heart and from that day on I woke up every day and like the post, the no matter, rain, snow, hail or sleep, I put on my sneakers and boots and I walked myself well. It took me a few years to get back on my feet, but you know what? Mm, that's one tasty sausage, Jamie. Anyway, if you want details of this or of any other of our recipes on today's show, then log on, as usual, to our website, www.morningglory.com. Now, coming up later on the show, does exercise actually make you fat? And my husband loves his dog more than me. But first up, we put three of the leading brands of more... A second explosion made from 100% whole wheat... Timmy! Really, Eric, you must think me so incredibly naive. You're not the first homosexual I've known, you know. <laughs> yes, but I'll probably be your last. Oh, God almighty, there's more to my life than living with you. You must count the sound of footsteps in the night. Hardly. Based on interviews with each of the three subjects and my subsequent psychological assessments, it is my opinion that each individual is regarded to hold almost equal responsibility for the event that occurred on 30th of March 2010 at the Baird household. My otherwise dark life. No. Edward, we've changed the subject. No, no. How do you know what sort of life I have? <laughs> <laughs> you are here because you think, you say, you're worried that whenever you study about marriage, you start eating uncontrollably. <laughs> Interesting. My observations is that you're not fat, <laughs> so you don't have an eating disorder. But by your posture, I observe that you are a depressed loner. Depressed loner? No, I, I'm really happy. Hmm. Happy people don't come to psychiatry. <laughs> Catering, checkout staff required. Oh, oh, cleaners! You can do these. You have a degree, haven't you? Well, use it. Eden, if you could know for sure that the Torah was the word of God, truth, would you keep all the laws? Live a religious life? Never mind, dear. Money isn't everything. Do go on. 